In this video, you're going to be learning the top five things you need to do after installing Kali Linux. In step five, I'll be showing you the most important step that I see beginners often making a mistake. So do not skip any part of the video, what until the end, and you will have your Kali Linux set up just like a hacker. So without further ado, let's do step one, which is updating and upgrading your system. So first, open your terminal and update your local package repository with the command sudo apt update and press enter type the password for your user. After our system has been updated, we can upgrade our system to install the latest package. So type the command sudo apt upgrade space dash y so that we do not have to type yes every time to continue and then press enter and it will start upgrading. It will take some time. So please wait for a while. While you're waiting, please subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking. Now, after your system has been updated and upgraded, you now have the latest security patches which will defend yourself against the hacker. You also have the latest version of the ethical hacking tools. You can also use the command sudo apt auto remove to remove any unnecessary packages. And after we are done, we can move to step two, which is to install the ethical hacking tools. Firstly, to know whether a tool is installed in your system or not, type the name of the tool. For example, I'll be searching for inmap space dash dash version and press enter. If I get this output, it means that the tool is installed in the system. I can search for Metasploit 2, which is MSF console space dash dash version. I can see Metasploit is already installed. Another way of checking whether a tool is installed in your system or not is to type dpkg space dash l space the pipe symbol space grep and the name of the tool if you get output it means that the tool is installed in your system if a tool is not installed in your system you can install the tool from the local package repository with the command sudo apt install the name of the tool suppose if i want to install python i would type python 3 and press enter i already have python 3 installed so this is how you install the tool if the tool is already in the local package repository but suppose if the tool is not on the local package repository and you have to download the tool from github then you would go to your browser go to google search for the name of the tool so suppose in this case i will be installing the dbwa which is a vulnerable web application space github and press enter click on the first link by github you can know how famous or good a tool is with the fork and star so if it is high it means it is good so while you're on the github page click on code under https click on this button which will copy the link go back to your terminal and type git space clone space paste the link and press enter if i do a ls I can see dvw has been downloaded you can know how to install any tool from the github page so if you scroll down you will see there will always be an installation manual following this you can install any tool now let's move on to the third step which is to add a low privileged user we are doing this because we do not want to be constantly logged in as root if we are constantly logged in as root if an attacker attacks our system they can basically take over the system and get full privilege so in order to avoid that we are going to be creating a low privileged user i already have a low privileged user created which is farhan in this case but i will show either way how to create a user in kali linux now before i do that if you already have a user created make sure you're not using the default password which is kali so to change the password of any user log in as the user and type the command pass wd and press enter type your current password type your new password retype your new password for confirmation and then press enter and as you can see the password has been updated successfully now let's create our user the first thing i will do is change to the root user with the command sudo space su and press enter type the password for my user and now that i'm logged in as the root user i will first type the command add user space the name of the user that you want to create you can call it anything you want i will just call my user ls and press enter Type the password for ls, retype your password again for confirmation. Now you can give the full name if you want, I will not do it. I will skip enter until the next step. Is the information correct? Press capital Y and then press enter. And my Alice user has been created. Next we have to put this Alice user in the sudo group so that the Alice user has sudo permission. So to do that, type the command usermod space dash a capital G sudo space the name of the user that you just created which is ls and press enter. And now we can change to the Alice user with the command su space the name of the user which is Alice and press enter. And as you can see, I'm logged in as the user Alice. Now the next tip is to learn how to use a multiplexer and also how to do some basic customization of Kali Linux. So multiplexing basically means to split your terminal. So to split your terminal, click on actions. And if you want to split horizontally, click on split terminal horizontally. As you can see, the terminal has been split into horizontal. If it is not aligned, then you can zoom in to make it aligned. So press Ctrl plus the plus arrow symbol in your keyboard. And as you can see, it has been split horizontally. If you want to split vertically, then click on actions again and click split terminal vertically. Now you can run multiple actions at the same time. So suppose in the first terminal, I will run an nmap scan with the command sudo 
in map my network address. In the second terminal, I will run Metasploit with the command msf console. In the third terminal, I can update my local package repository with the command sudo apt update. And as you can see, all the actions are being done concurrently. And this is very efficient when you're pen testing. You can split the terminal as many times as you want. So as you can see, I'm splitting the terminal multiple times. So this will be beneficial to you. I will close everything and I will show you how to customize your own terminal. So for that, click on file and click on preferences. From here, you can choose the color for your terminal. So right now it is at Kali Dark. I can choose to Ubuntu and click on apply. And as you can see, the color has been changed to the Ubuntu terminal. There are many other options too. And you can customize the terminal according to your own will. I will show you another important one that I often use, which is the terminal transparency. You can set it to completely non-transparent by changing the value from 5 to 0 and clicking on apply. And as you can see, it is not transparent at all. Now let's move on to the final step, which is to anonymize your Kali Linux. Since you're using Kali Linux during pen testing, it is very important that your public IP is not disclosed. So for that, we can use many different things. I will be showing you just one example of how to anonymize your Kali Linux. So first, open your browser and go to google.com and search for Kali Torify and press enter. Click on the first link. This is the official repository, the bad word and the Kali Torify. Next, click on code. Under HTTPS, copy the link. Go back to your terminal and type git clone space paste the link. And now I can see Kali Torify has been downloaded. Now before installing Kali Torify, make sure you have Tor installed. If you do not have Tor installed, type the command sudo apt install tor space car space dash y and press enter type the password for your user now after the installation has been completed cd to the directory kali torify and when you're in this directory type the command sudo make install and your kali torify will be installed so to start kali torify type the command kali torify space dash dash tor or you can use the dash t2 same thing so i will do this and press enter so we have to run this program as a root so add sudo before the command and now we are being connected to the Tor network right now, which will make us anonymous. And now we can see that our transparent proxy is activated. Our system is under Tor. I will check what is my IP address and see whether it is actually hidden or not. So I'll open my browser and go to the site dnsleaktest.com. And I can see that my IP has been completely hidden and it is showing me from the country Netherland. I can tell you for a fact that I'm not in Netherland right now. And if you're not pen testing and you want to stop the Tor service, you can type the command sudo calitorify space dash dash clear net, which will stop the transparent proxy. So this is just one of the hundred ways how you can anonymize your Kali Linux. You can also anonymize your Kali Linux with VPN proxy chains and different softwares that will connect you to the Tor network. I have covered all the different ways to be anonymous on Kali Linux in my channel. So if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe. Other than that, these are the top five things you must do after installing Kali Linux. That is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.